This week, President Biden set to continue reviewing and possibly begin interviewing candidates for the upcoming vacancy on the Supreme Court. So what will this process be like and how will it be different and how could a new justice impact the court? Our Joe St. George takes a look. I sit there on the bench. Justice Stephen Breyer may still be on the high court this week, but he won't be for long. His retirement expected when the court finishes its term this summer. I'll meet with the potential nominees. But that doesn't mean the president will wait that long to name a replacement. This week, the selection process will intensify. What will that process look like? We know President Biden has set a deadline at the end of February to make a selection, which means background checks and in-person interviews will take place over the next few weeks. For the moment, it looks like the month of March is when the confirmation process in the United States Senate will begin and possibly end. Whomever that nominee is will do what current justices have done first, meet with senators, especially those they need to get confirmed. From there, the Senate Judiciary Committee will hold a public hearing where the nominee will answer questions. And if all goes well, the full Senate will then vote. In 2017, Republican leader Mitch McConnell changed the rules to make it easier for Supreme Court picks to be confirmed. Only a majority vote is now needed. If every Democrat in the Senate supports the nominee and all Republicans oppose, Vice President Kamala Harris will cast the tie-breaking vote. So why is this time different? For the moment, the only big difference is that for the first time ever, the president says the nominee will be a black woman. Each one of these women are considered favorites right now. Each one are current judges in senior roles. As far as how a new justice on the court will impact you, well, it likely will be very little. Justice Breyer is a liberal-leaning justice, and President Biden is expected to name another liberal-leaning justice. The conservative majority on the court will continue, especially when it comes to issues like abortion, guns, and religion. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George. Thank you, Joe.